Hello, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to do a very quick review today because I love this little guy. I love him so much. Now, if you are coming here because you want me to tell you, wow, this is an incredibly useful bag. You wouldn't believe how much it holds. It's the Mary Poppins of micro, no. <laughs> um, that's not going to happen. However, this is not really the kind of bag you buy for functionality. I was overwhelmed with love. <laughs> I, I can't explain it any other way. I saw stars when I put this on. It was just this overwhelming giddiness. My husband saw it immediately on my face when we were in the Loewe. So I've had this for several months. I got it from the Soho Loewe store where they were so kind. They were so sweet. We had had kind of a eh, not so great experience in Chanel just prior to this where I was very tempted to get a little micro bag that they had there. Gosh, what was it? I'm pretty sure that was when they had, it was like a blue. No, no, you know what it was? It was that like pale, like Barney-esque purple that they had. That's when that was. I tried on the small rectangular, yeah, the lambskin mini and I was like, oh, you know, I, I've, I've been thinking I want this color, but I don't know. And it's like over $3,000 and I just didn't feel right about it. So walked away. And then we, you know, we took a little stroll. I think we got lunch and we went to Loewe and I saw this. And this is what, like a quarter of the price, a third of the price, somewhere in between there. And it was just overwhelming love. So I'm going to have mod shots. I'm going to tell you roughly what fits, um, all, all the things that I can think of. Uh, so let's get started. To begin, I just want to show you a little bit around the bag and this is how I store it. So this is the tissue paper that came inside it. And this is the dust bag. It's a very nice thick cotton dust bag. Um, it has the little Loewe symbol on there, which I love. I love the Loewe symbol. I've seen some of their pieces have like just the LL next to one another. I don't like that as much. It's, I, I like that it's, you know, I mean, it's the four L's. <laughs> Clearly it's, it's obviously Loewe. Um, but I like that it's just a little bit different than having, you know, the CC, CD, just like, you know, the, the standard um, monogram. But it's a very nice dust bag. I do keep it in that. I keep the tissue paper inside it, not that it all needs it for structure. So they come in a variety of colors. Um, I am pretty sure that this was $790 when I bought it. I think they've gone up in price, but I'll have that written on the screen just in case. So this is a very bright green. I think if you're gonna go for a bag this small, I mean, just go big, but they do have a lovely tan color. It's Loewe, they have a great selection of colors and their brown is really nice. Um, but it's an elephant, right? Um, they have pinks, they, I, for me, I always knew I wanted to, to go for a bright color. This is very similar to the parakeet color currently at Bottega but it's a calf skin, quite firm. You definitely do not need to keep anything in it to hold its structure. There is a slip pocket on the back, which frankly, I think is pretty useless. I would never put anything in there. Um, so this curves, right? And unless you had like a paper ticket, something that would bend, even that, I just, I wouldn't really put anything in there. This is very, very stiff and I wouldn't want to stretch it out. That's, that would be just my choice. Um, our Metro cards, our bus passes, they're a thick, like solid card. Um, I would not <laughs> try to shove that in there. So really, I don't know what this was put on there for, but it's a cute little detail. I mean, why not? I think in theory, the idea would be that you could just tap your bag whenever you need to get in and out of somewhere, like um, if you have like a building pass or whatever it is, but just because of the structure, I would not really put anything in that. So it obviously it has the ears in the little Loewe symbol right there. This strap is non-adjustable. It does have a strap drop of 55 centimeters. This, I think, I mean, if the size 
doesn't put you off which I mean if you're looking at this review maybe you were curious about it so clearly you're not totally opposed to micro bags but I think one of the biggest drawbacks of this is the non-adjustable strap it's 55 centimeters you'll see where it lands on me in the mod shots it is a perfect cross body length for me just where I like my my um cross body bags to fall obviously everybody's like a slightly different preference and you can get away with it being a little bit higher a little bit lower um, it, it sits on my shoulder. It's a small enough bag and it's a flexible enough strap that it sits on my shoulder comfortably, but I do like it best as a crossbody bag. It then has a magnet tab closure right here. So you can see the magnet. It's a very strong magnet, but not at all <laughs> difficult to get it done. You can hear that snap. So it is just a black opening. Um, you this does start to loosen up um i have noticed that it's a little bit looser than when i first got it but obviously i do not use this heavily because of the size um but i've used it a fair amount and i remember one time the i think it was the first time i used it i wore a green skirt i wore a green sweater that's exactly this color so it was like a dark forest green skirt very neutral right and then a top this color and wore this out and I think I had been out of my car maybe five minutes when someone was like oh that's the Loewe bag and I was like yes and like I I don't live in the kind of place where everyone is walking around with a designer handbag and so I was just so giddy for it to get known but it's the Loewe elephant you know um, if you're into handbags I, I feel like this is pretty iconic so it is just a black open space and you can kind of like squidge it down <laughs> to flex it open a little bit but i i'm pretty gentle with this bag i don't feel like i'm fussing over it when i use it but i am wary of the shape um i wanted to stay in good condition as with all of my bags okay so next let's talk about what fits inside Okay, I have an assortment of things in front of me. So firstly, I do not have a max size iPhone or any kind of phone, I don't know. Um, <laughs> I have a Samsung and then I have an iPhone. It's the smaller one. My Samsung Galaxy, yeah, I'm not into phones. I don't know what I, I don't even know what I have. But I'll have the measurements down below. My phone fits perfectly inside it. It's very easy to slip in and out. Um, if, if that is the only thing you have in there. Here is the iPhone. Again, I'm gonna have measurements for these in just the description box so that you can compare it to what you have if you're curious. This is a little bit smaller than my other phone, so it fits very easily inside it. You can see it in there, but because it's black in there, you're not really gonna get an idea of like depth. Um, there is room to the side of it. So, might as well just show you the full capacity with the bigger phone. So, that can go in, and I can easily pull this out when that's the only thing in there. Now, I brought out an assortment of wallets. Um, the Louis Vuitton Clay. Here is my Ferragamo French wallet, which, um, you know, I mean, it just, it's that kind of... Um, you can think of this almost as like two card holders put together um, and it's a nice calf skin and then there's the Bottega card holder this is partly lambskin and I've never I've never put this in here with the phone it it doesn't really want to go in it could go in there without the phone um, but with a phone, and that's kind of one of the major pros to this micro bag over others is that it does fit a phone. Um, that's one of the reasons why I love it in the summertime. In the winter, I always have a pocket for my phone to go in. In the summertime, since I'm wearing lighter things and unless I'm wearing like denim shorts or something, if I'm wearing a dress, um, I, or a skirt, obviously like, I don't necessarily have, even if a dress has pockets, you know, they're usually like little flimsy things and they can't hold the weight of a phone all that comfortably. Um, but while this will fit inside it with nothing in it, 
I'd have to really shove it down in there to fit next to the phone. And I've never even tried. I'm not going to try now because of how delicate this wallet is. It's held up really well. I mean, there's like a totally separate review. Um, I think that's held up very well. However, I don't go shoving it in tight spaces, which is part of the reason why it's held up very well. Um, let's see. Do, do, do. I'm wondering, yeah, will this fit inside it? Yeah, something like this, it, it won't fit inside it because of the width. However, so this is absolutely perfect. The key clay, I love this thing. And it's so just sturdy, you know, I don't have to worry about it. You can hear I have some change in there. I can usually fit some cards, some cash and change in there. Uh, so that slips in quite comfortably because it is so narrow and slim. And then my phone also fits next to it. However, it is a tight squeeze. Uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not gonna be around the bush. This is a tiny, tiny bag. Um, and if you want the benefit of being able to fit a phone into a micro bag, this is fantastic, but it does not hold much else. Now, when it comes to getting out your wallet, that is also not super easy. <laughs> hey, Sherp, what you doing? Um, the cat was just coming to say hello in case you don't know who Sherpa is. She's very sweet. Um, I, this is not great for running errands if you have to be really quick getting in and out of your bag. It is easiest to take your phone out and then flip this over to get your wallet. Now, obviously that is not ideal if you're checking out. When I'm checking out at stores, I usually have some kind of rewards app on my phone that I have to get to anyway. So this has not been a huge issue for me. Um, I, I often have to reach for my phone while I'm, at, while I'm in a store and I'll usually take it out when I'm checking out. If you have the concern about leaving your phone somewhere, forgetting something, I totally get that. That will be a drawback for this bag. However, when I've been checking out because I have to have my phone out anyway, it's not been a huge deal. I also really like this for if we're going out to dinner, if we're going out to a concert. Um, I've used this bag for this because when we're going out to dinner, we're sitting down when we're brought the check. It's easy. My phone is usually out anyway because I'm like snapping pictures of Ben or the food or something, but it's very easy just to get my things out. So um, again, and, and it will fit easier if you have a smaller phone, if you want to refer to those measurements. So on top of this, I also have a few lip products that I brought out. This is the Glossier Bomb.com um, and a Dior lip um, gloss. Let me, I just was kind of curious, you know, I never really pay attention to like what can fit. And if you want all of that stuff in, it's just not going to happen. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's not going to happen. Um, this can hold my house keys. Okay, and my phone and the clay. This is not the kind of bag you get to hold lots of things. I think one thing that is cute about this bag, I mean, besides the shape, um, but it would be a very easy bag to use if you have an overflow tote. So you could use this to hold let's say just your phone, if you want just one of adorable accessory, <laughs> and then just something really easy to, for just like quick access to your phone while you have a, a zippered tote or something holding the rest of it. So yeah, it, it, it doesn't really hold very much. If you can put your phone into something else, like a pocket, which obviously I did in the winter quite a bit, um, I always have my phone in my back pocket if that's an option with what I'm wearing. So you could have your clay and then it's very, very easy to fit all the bits and bobs because it's actually, I mean, it's fairly wide at the bottom. I don't wanna say it's wide. It's not wide. That doesn't make any sense. Let's find out exactly how wide this is. So this bottom is roughly an inch, yeah, it's like roughly an inch wide, almost three centimeters. So without a phone, if you can put your phone into your back pocket, which I mean, I've said this a million times, I do anyway, 
you can easily fit chapstick, key clay, lip gloss, your keys all on top of there, along with a few other things. Getting them out isn't so easy. It is very easy for me to reach in and grab my clay, but it's not so easy to grab the other smaller things at the very bottom. So you do kind of have to tip it out. Like I said, I, I was never going to be able to tell you, wow, this is such an easy bag to use. It's so functional. Go get it now. Um, all your concerns, they're nothing to even think of. That it's just, it's just not true. Oh, see, dropping things. Unfortunately, it's just not true. This isn't an easy bag to use, but I love it so much. I, I don't feel burdened by it. I think that's the best way I, I can explain it. I think it's adorable and it's not that, that bad. It's not that difficult to use, but that's partly because of my personal habits. Your habits might be different and so that just might not be the case. Um, another, just like if you're down for it to be a cute accessory, you can obviously use it to hold your sunglasses. You know, if you, if you just want that kind of like little mini bag flex and you want to hold your sunglasses in there while you're out versus having them on your head or your shirt. That's usually what I default to, but um, I, I think there are reasons to get this bag. <laughs> um, if you want the easiest, most functional bag in the world, um, if that has to be one of your reasons, you might not like this. <laughs> Okay, so I, I'm not really sure what else to add about this bag. I think everything else is pretty evident. Um, the biggest pro for me is that it looks like nothing else. I mean, and the quality is spectacular. You can feel in how this elephant was constructed, how it's all sewn together, the beautiful glazing. I just, I love everything about this bag. I can't say it enough, the functionality or like the limited functionality doesn't bother me. One thing to be mindful of is the strap drop. But yeah, this is, it's just a bag that you buy because you're nuts over it and there's nothing that's gonna stop you. I think it is a phenomenal price for a luxury micro bag. Now, of course you could get a contemporary bag that is quadruple this size and half the price. It really just depends what you're after. I have plenty of functional bags, bags that are very easy to use. One of my favorites is the mini reissue. Um, the Fendi Peekaboo is phenomenal when it comes to like cuteness and functionality. This is, this is just crazy purse love. And I love that it looks like nothing else. I've never seen a contemporary dupe that looks like this, frankly, because I think it would be very difficult. <laughs> I think it would be a real challenge for a brand, for a contemporary brand to knock this off and still make it look really good because of the construction. It's just, it's just gorgeous. Um, you can sometimes get these on sale. I believe they have them at Nordstrom and a variety of department stores. I think that they were, if they're not still, I believe they were at one point on Net-A-Porter and because it's not the most popular option, certainly from Loewe, but Loewe bags do go on sale sometimes. Um, another option is trying to save up vouchers for a lot of these department stores. You can usually collect rewards points. I can definitely understand wanting to save those up towards, um, you know, kind of a frivolous, like silly, just love-driven purpose uh, purchase. Yeah, um, I can't really think of anything else that I wanted to add about this bag. Please let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I'm gonna have some rough measurements in the description box, but again, please let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you next time. Bye.